Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Now before I introduce today's guest, uh, please subscribe to the channel Interview with Dabhi Manu and don't forget to press the ghanti. See what I did there? My guest today is one of the coolest people I've spoken to on the show. Cool because she has that I don't care kind of Punjabi attitude and she's absolutely unapologetic about it. She is a stylist. She teaches fashion styling. Uh, she co-owns a brand with her sister called Nakhre Vakhre and Nakhre Vakhre has styled many celebrities including Imran Hashmi, uh, Sunny Leone and uh, Vicky Kaushal. I know, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, without any further delay, please welcome the stylish, the awesome Amrita Saluja. Um, I think this is going to be very exciting man, today. It's going to be fun. So, and, and you know what, I'll tell you something. Uh, your tattoo is the reason why you, me and Karen are sitting on this table. If you remember, that was the idea. You breakup. asked me once. Yeah. And then you told that was, me. That was the first time I ever like came up to you and you, because that was. I, rem I remember that because a lot of people have asked me about the tattoo okay. because it's another language so people want to know. Yeah, I want to know. Yeah. But I remember you asking me about it because. I asked you, how do you know? You said, truck ke piche par par kar I was like, aise kaun kaun So her tattoo, it's in Gurmukhi, right? So it says, Rab Rakha. Now, I don't know how, I don't know how to read. But matrae same hoti hai kaafi. Like, aa, aa jo hota hai. And when they come first. Aa, yeah, aa, something very similar. Baki, there is nothing same. Something, this is fascinating because the first letter is the same of both the words, right? So that was a wild guess. I don't know how to read Gurmukhi and I never stopped you <laughs> before that on Instagram. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never did that. So yeah, so it was a guess and I'm, you know, I'm glad that it worked somehow. Correct. It was yeah. Correct. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, a lot of people have asked me but then when you said it, it I went truck ke piche, piche par kar. What exactly do you do? <laughs> I don't think I asked you then, I thought of it. Yeah, you, you, I, that's new. I didn't hear that. <laughs> but uh, you uh, mostly, so you are a Punjabi, right? Punjabi. No, not a Sardarni, but Punjabi. Uh, half my family is a Sardarni. So, like, half of them are Sardars because like my mom's extended and my grandmom's extended are Sardars. My dad's side is, they're Punjabis. They're Punjabis. So, but I have a, like in the immediate family, I have a mix. Even my husband's side, everybody is a... Punjabi. Sikh. Uh, Sikh. My husband is a Qatar. So mostly you see Khanda, right? Whenever you see a tattoo, this was the first thing. And it was a wild guess and it was Correct. the right one. Yeah, right one. So I think, so then everyone knows what, it, whoever knows what it means. It's very, I think your tattoo is very beautiful. Like the meaning is, because I'm, I'm tuned to, you know, Khanda, Sardar, Pata Chal Gya Haan Ki Hai. But Rab Rakha is something, you know, it's very, I, so what do you think? Is the mindset when someone gets a tattoo? Like, do you? I do not. I want to get more tattoos done. There is yeah, sure. It's, no, it's uh, very. You know, no, I think you sometimes you just think of something and you connect with it so well. I just thought yeah. I was never a person who who I thought would like tattoos and piercings and. Yeah. But now I think I want. I have to, and I want to get more done. But the whole process, like, can do you have one? No, do you plan to get one ever? I want to, but it's sounds too painful. Yeah, because you... It, it's not. It's not that painful. I understand. So, and uh, plus you're getting something etched permanently, right? So that's the thing. Most so of even for this, I was very skeptical. I got a temporary run. I went to go, I got a temporary run in the okay. same way, same right. thing at the same place. And then I looked at it for 10 days. Hmm. And saw how it was being washed off. And then I was like, take it from there. So uh, that's you speaking for yourself. But in general, what do you think? Why do people get tattoos? Do they want to show it off or it's show more it personal? Off. Yeah. No, I just, uh, when you're saying this, I'm thinking of people with weird tattoos. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, let's <laughs> talk like about weird tattoos. Butterflies. <laughs> and, uh, and then their, their names and their uh, apparent soulmate names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even know. Then they have to tattoo. I've seen people who have uh, tattoos of uh, their... Boyfriend and they will. break up in Nigger Tongi. Hardly can break up I was just talking to my friend the other day, and we did see a couple of tattoos, you know, which have been changed after breakup. Uh -huh. And they've changed to something so disastrous, and it's big, you know, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're trying to mend a name which is already. Yeah, I know a person who's done that, yeah. And then it's so funny because the real tattoo later you actually don't relate to. 
कॉन्टेंट based on fashion psychology and law of attraction mm-hmm. right let's talk about it in detail it's very interesting so i started to and, and another thing another thing since fashion psychology and uh, law of attraction it's very vast right and it depends how it's an individual it. perceives that particular topic right so give us your idea about it like what do you feel about these two and then tell us that what are you going to do about it so i uh, have this uh, out of my own experience right. i don't it may not hold true for everybody who i counsel maybe but out of my experience i really think how you get up dress and get out of the house says a lot about your day okay okay now for me i have been a extreme introvert for very long in life okay extreme like i didn't talk to people uh, hmm. just shy or extremely shy I was uh, fat right. to start with, okay. uh, which pulls the confidence a little. But I was it a does, fat kid. Does. Yeah, so, so was I. I like know. I know what you mean. I yeah. didn't have a neck. See, I never had a neck. <laughs> I could. I can go to further I, details that I, I had a few other things <laughs> that boys shouldn't have. But yeah, you get the point. I, right? I didn't have a neck. I couldn't see my feet. I okay. had such a big tummy. So <laughs> you know, your confidence is yeah is a little. You you you're two steps behind. Okay? Yeah, they'll be like, "Get up and come and see me." तो हाँ वो मुझे पता था लेकिन मुझे नहीं पता था पीपल बट या सो एंड देन व्हेन यू व्हेन आई गोट इनटू कॉलेज एंड देन आई स्टार्ट टॉकिंग टू पीपल एंड ऑल माय सेंस ऑफ ड्रेसिंग टू Okay. Like if I look at myself, I'm. I mean, I I won't go and say hi to myself. Okay. ठीक है तुम वही रहो वैसा था. And then I think I uh, started to. Change bit by bit. It was very gradual. It took like forever. Because you uh, looked at other people and told no, yourself I, that I should dress no, better. No, I I don't think I ever wanted to be like anybody else. Right. That was never a thing. Yeah. Uh, even for actor actresses, I don't think I've ever. You know, people have the thing. You know, you you who's your icon maybe or who do you like? I've never really liked. Uh, right. I love their acting, but that's about it. I've never wanted to be or dress like hmm. anybody in particular. So it was a very gradual thing that I changed, and uh, whatever I was studying fashion, I was all I always wanted to study fashion. So I would sketch when even I was in my, I was what like fourteen, thirteen, fourteen. I started sketching. Okay. I was always into drawing, but I started sketching fashion when I was like then. Uh, hmm. I made fat sketches, thinking they I had me in mind. I think. That, so I didn't make make like fashion croquis or something, yeah. but they were like sketches which were fat, but they were. So you were clothes. designing for yourself in a way, right? No, I, they weren't like clothes that I wanted to design. They were just sketches. I mean, okay. if I saw something, I would kind of, usme add subtract kar kar I would huh. make something. So I was always inclined to fashion right. that way. Then I pursued. I studied it, and then I think after I studied it and I started meeting people to, uh, I started designing. So when I had to actually start making clothes for people, I realized that when I'm talking to them, I was actually talking a lot to them. क्या पहनना है क्यों पहनना है कभी पहनना है आपके पास ये है ये कलर है नहीं है देर वॉज अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर जस्ट डिजाइनिंग मतलब उनको ड्रेस ही ड्रेस बना के दे दो ना क्यों पूछ रहे हो वैसा था सो डिड इट अमेज यू दैट यू आर एक्चुअली ओपनिंग अप आई या आई एक्चुअली रियलाइज वेरी लेट दैट आई हैड ओपन अप मतलब इन दैट प्रोसेस आई डिड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड बट आई गॉट टू अ पॉइंट वेयर सडनली एवरीबॉडी वाज लाइक यू नो लुक एट दैट यू हैव चेंज देयर इज चेंज देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ चेंज टू रियली सिटिंग एंड self studying styling for very long huh. understanding what goes how it goes so i understood the technical part of it yeah kiske sath kya pehna chahiye 
only to realize later that aisa kuch so hota there hai. is a design ki kiske sath kya pehna chahiye like a basic template there, there is. is we'll talk about it later yeah there we'll go. yeah okay i teach that yeah. there is but once you master it uh, you can play with it. it okay okay so as uh, the whole idea which i think uh, which i'm trying to change it's very different from what i like what we're discussing right now ke ek template hai ke iske sath ye pehna chahiye and probably let's say for corporate wear or formal wear right. or color schemes or capsule wardrobes there is a technicality okay but uh, it's very what, different what, what are capsule wardrobes Caps- okay so if i have like uh, say i want i have five shirts and i have two pants i want to okay. wear this in different ways and i'm just combining that ah, in seven okay. pieces alag alag pehno iske sath ye pehno ye wear karo so your your set for like say two weeks mujhe ye pehna but they should all look different right so i have that that's my line <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Then you're you're probably also talking about keeping everything minimal, but we make that for people who have like massive wardrobes, but yet you need to oh, like okay. you know you need yeah. to cut down to something right. like that. So uh, that is one thing. But I think over, I think since I'm studying and reading etc., I'm re- realizing that you should wear what you think you are. Otherwise, it just defeats the purpose, right, of fashion because. No, and people today are wearing what they think is trending. Yeah, it's like people everyone is H and M and Zara somehow. They look alike. Correct. Right. One, two, social media is here, like it's on your face. Yeah. Okay, the minute you open it and you see something, you want to make it. The toughest time I've faced by realizing this, people used to come to me, "Mujhe ye bana kar do." वो कटरीना कहते हैं तुम नहीं हो, तुम ऐसी नहीं दिख सकती. But that's tough. You know, they they come to you with expectations and they really right. high. Do you know, I got bored of that? Okay. I can't make this. I can't. Me go nahi chahiye. So you say no. Eventually, I I've yeah. cut it down massively to apart from a few clients that I have. But otherwise, it's less than people ask me. Do me kya suit hai? Now also, if I have people who come to me for styling, the first thing I tell them, mat karwa styling. Don't uh-huh. get into. That's what I started doing very recently. Okay. That don't ask me what to wear. Let's sit and understand who you are and what you should wear. So even mm-hmm. without me, you're going to be able to take your own decisions because now you know that I'm ye who or This is what I should be wearing. Right. It's not about your silhouette. Your body will keep fluctuating. It's in the end about who you actually are and what you like to wear. You, what you're comfortable in. Basically. What you're comfortable in, and um, I think I want to help them develop that confidence. That no matter what, I will be able to carry something. Hmm. You should be able to get into any like you know when I'm saying party, party, party kind of party. People. you know think of extreme you know they want to wear something uh, say fitted and you know yeah. should be all shiny and yeah, makes sense. glamoury i don't think so i want to go to a party in a white shirt and blue leggings i want to go with it who's going to stop me and it's not wrong <laughs> who said you know who defined yeah, yeah. it yeah. totally so that way i think i want to bring that change i don't know uh, i you don't have a plan yeah. but i think but you know what, what, what's the, what's the factor part that once you go in a plain white shirt that it's going to turn heads for sure because you will differentiate and then everyone is going to come in white shirt and then that will become a trend so things do, yeah so it's like it happened this constant way. right it it's, happened, it's yeah just, it is it, it's very gradual yeah uh, but now i think there are a lot of people who do that who who prefer the casual sense of dressing like say for a place like bombay mm-hmm. i have seen a mix up bombay is like they'll go all out when it comes to party yeah but i do have a section of people who i think i've seen who just get out from work probably creative people get mm. out from work and they just carry on the same way they don't want to i i do not like the idea of uh, dressing up dressing up matlab think they come dress down should be one one or one or time say weddings or yeah. you know something something very close to you you want to do something okay otherwise tum jaise ho waise raho so i i had this sudden thought right uh see people like dressing up and people like socializing and partying a lot right don't you think it puts immense pressure to you know wear something that stands out every single time people it does, it, it does yeah. right it yeah. does i mean it must be frustrating in a way it is the the, the only time i realized it when i thought that mujhe ab, ab, i don't need my brain to occupy this part but right. like, let's leave this there are yeah. a lot of other things to do then you you know doing this there are certain people who really need help Mm. you know there are people who who love buying right and they buy and they buy and then they have their wardrobe which are just full of so much that uh, on the contrary they end up saying i do not have anything to wear because they do not know what to wear out of what they have yeah 
so that time they need help in terms of you know then you you know segregate things you decide whatever fits you because practically everybody just wears 20 to 30 percent of what they have hmm. baki sab is just there for yeah sometimes maybe something one time maybe i'll something. fit yeah, into yeah, it yeah, maybe. maybe something will happen or for emotional reasons you know how did you like how did this help you develop this you know idea that i'm going to bring fashion psychology and law of so attraction together so i'm not like it. really putting law of attraction there but i i so law of attraction you are a believer but yeah, you believe in this concept it turned true for me so i want to know <laughs> yeah so i was um, I, i it was a very random thing that i said i want to go to prague okay and everybody who knows me knows that this prague is like kuch to hai connection okay and uh, so you haven't visited or you did i did okay before so, that you didn't but you had this thing that yes, you have to do i always to wanted to so this is around 14 15 20 yeah 2014 15 i i want to visit prague okay. but that's about it right. you know, it's just there then 2015 ish i am out with my um, friends we 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 gone for a small two day thing and it it's february we, we all school friends we gone out for valentines day and uh, we like okay next year i said i'm going Yeah. Feb, next year I'm going no matter what and I don't remember that okay. I don't remember saying it they did remember that hmm. you told me I have this thing that I did study I studied uh, study and then I read the secret and I, I kind of followed it and it oh, related a lot oh, oh, because I'm not a fan I'm, I have strong opinion about the secret because I, <laughs> yeah no I, it turned true for me in a way that believe it it will happen But I think you also Worked really hard. You worked your butt off, and you were positive. But it, secret says that ham. Just like we were talking about secret a few days ago, right? And I was like, "Mujhe to badi dil se Katrina ka Katrina ka hota rehta hai. Mere ko to nahi mili kabi." So I, I, that's just one way of putting so, it. So I don't work hard enough. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, oh, you work towards it, but you don't work towards it. Like uh, I don't know. Like you think of it and then you leave it. But it gave you a mindset and it worked for you, right? Your so I, I'll tell you how it it did. I, now this is how it worked for me. Right. I know. I know you. Can you be know, different. Yeah. I put it as my phone wallpaper. Okay. I just picked up a picture from the secret. No, no. Okay. From what Prague is. Okay. Just two random pictures. One hmm. was my uh, wallpaper uh-huh. on my phone. One was my WhatsApp wallpaper. Right. Uh, obviously it's a random there are a lot of people like you say you yeah. might have katrina kya fun or maybe so <laughs> something like that so uh, that happened and um, uske baad when i teach they go for a euro tour every year okay and um, so uh, it's the the institute is in pune and mumbai mm-hmm. pune because being pune has a smaller crowd and bombay has mass because right. it be, it's fashion so yeah. you know the industry it's being the there So that way there are a lot of people from Bombay who always went. Pune se hamesha bahut kam log gaye the. That year in 2016, we had a lot of people from Pune. And like you're saying, I worked my, I worked hard till December. I had no idea I was even till Jan for that matter. Right. I did not know I was going. Right. In Jan, I decided I just like it was one day. You know, we're going for your tour. I'm like, okay, I'm coming. Right. Uh, absolutely not funded. Okay. Uh, It's not like I broke my savings or anything. Uh-huh. Everything from zero had to be planned. Right. It was my first ever trip abroad, so even I was worried about visa milega, nahi milega, uh-huh. a lot of things. Then I'm like planning the whole trip, arranged either udhar se kaise vaise karke kam karke. Ha, tab fir hard work started. Uh-huh. You know that okay, yeah. all this is that is coming is going there. Did you do Airbnb? No. No. Okay. Ah uh, yes, in Prague I did. Okay. So also in Prague, I once I decided all this. Then I was like, uh, my last destination is Rome. Okay. Prague is an hour away from Rome. Okay. Right. And it's hours away from India. Uh huh. So if I'm going to Rome and I'm not traveling that one hour to go to Prague, मतलब बनता नहीं है. Yeah. हाँ मतलब ये क्या है? Yeah. Then I said, okay, I'll go to Prague. Huh. And I'm traveling alone. Hmm. Uh, so that's again, एक तो you're going all the way there. Yeah. Then you're alone as well. So. Somehow I was like, "Hey, I, 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 I." Today, if I think of it, I don't know how I gathered the guts or the money yeah. or whatever. I don't know how it happened. I, I really, really do not know. You just have to take the leap, know. right? It, it happens. It, it just, happens. Yeah, yeah. It really does. I, I told a friend. I said, "Ye hai, ye book kar do because my bank account. I hadn't even, you know, I was very lazy that way. Mera koi kuch activated hi tha internet banking ye. Right. It was a friend who had uh, whatever. He already done a few overseas transactions and all. So I said, 
ye just book it yeah. yeah i didn't go for a hotel <coughs> i said i'm taking a whole apartment and staying there by myself and i did that and both of the places that were my wallpaper i really have now sitting in india i have yeah. no idea where that is yeah i went they were both walking distance from where i was staying okay. i went and i clicked pictures in exactly those places and i'm telling you prague was a it really felt like a dream when i uh, got off the plane and mm. i am walking out of the airport it's raining it's freezing it's right. like 1 and 1 degree 0 degrees ke aas paas right. it's the slight rain and then i enter i sit in the taxi and then i, I can see i saw like a whole rainbow come out and i'm not joking uh-huh. it felt like a dream and i was i was literally <laughs> tears you know it was so emotional i was like i'm here away from home all by myself and i'm really living this and i went to both the pictures that were my wallpapers and i got a picture clicked and i yet have that as proof so every day i think you know hoga ke nahi hoga i i really look at that like ye ho gaya na so maybe yeah maybe makes sense that's the main thing where i started believing and i went and told everybody i said yes such so that's a law of attraction me. came in like that's, you, you that's studied how about I, that's how it uh, that, that was a proof that uh-huh. it, exists. it exists if you believe in it it yeah. exists just continue and that, that's one massive thing that happened but there are a lot of small small things that exactly yeah it's just, you know a part happen. it's a part and i don't deny that you can't be all pessimistic and you know just you know don't so work about it so that's the part about about being pessimistic or about being happy that i want to implement with clothes not like really the law of attraction with i make all your dreams come yeah, true yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, the part that uh, just be happy about what you're wearing what you're doing because that will you know make a lot because that whole sentence i do not have anything to wear is so negative it's <laughs> and you have a lot of things you own like 100 pieces and you're saying i don't have anything to wear and it shows on your face like it gives bad vibes as well if you are like you know if you have stuff but you're not wearing you know you're not feeling confident you're not feeling confident yeah. you're not feeling happy about what you have you're right. not you're not feeling anything you're not just giving positive vibes and and you you also mentioned that you want it to be a part of education system as well um that no, positive I, thinking decision making so you want um, like so what were you thinking comfortable in what you so were so the kids who are studying in school should know about it or the courses I, no i think kids who are studying in school should know about it should know that you know there will be a, i'm not sure how to put it across yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, maybe agar mujhe i if i if when i was 13 14 if i was told that you know <laughs> life is not like what you're imagining right now yeah. because you studied so many stories and all your thought process of life is but really i think that is very important a kid has to be like a kid agar 12 saal mein usko pata chal gaya ki his life will be shit right i'm not saying scare the child yeah. but who is who is like a kid today at 11 and 12 today they all have phones they're all pouting their asses out with selfies and yeah yeah putting it out there so yeah. that's that's not being a kid anyway can were you doing that 5 years ago <laughs> i still do <don't> yeah <laughs> you still do there are a lot of people who yeah. don't but there are so many who do who yeah. think that's about that but i think the main part like is to instill that confidence in the kid right like you're not like, just be comfortable in whatever you're doing you know that the, the whole thing of yeah just being comfortable just be who you are because otherwise even when they get to college they have a pressure right of looking good yeah yeah of suddenly changing how they were of suddenly changing the kid in them and turning you have want to keep it you keep it keep it for as long as you want you know so that's that's the thing so my thing in college was my jeans were torn and ripped not like the ones that you buy not the distressed jeans but maybe eventually fade would lose hua karti thi piche lose and i never got them altered right so they were piche se lamba to wo heel ke niche aa ke to meri jean ki bani hoti thi that was my look in the college right that was my thing so i never changed that and because i felt comfortable in that and people weren't ignoring me like they weren't mm-hmm. like okay they were still friend and so <laughs> so i think it's very i think it's okay to be comfortable if, as long as it's not dirty and you know stained or something like that that actually you know will put people yeah, off it's, right it's at the end the bottom line is that you got to be comfortable in what you uh-huh. wear and you need to realize that if this is meant for you or not like uh, say i there are so many people who think uh, a denim and a t-shirt is all they want to wear all their life now i'm not talking about uh, people who are comfortable in it and pe- i'm talking about people who think that's the mindset okay this is what it is hmm. people who maybe don't have like uh, corporate jobs or something who can live a life in these clothes yeah. 
just continue yeah it, it makes sense yes there's no pressure so when you Kuch go out, galat hai. right when you go out to buy clothes for yourself so when you are looking at you know clothes hanging on hangers and whatever whatever so i do you have something in mind that okay i'm going to buy it? so what usually clicks when you pick something up uh-huh. i mera ye hai ki when i say i so my friends call me manju right most of them so I have this weird thing. So I go through clothes and I say that नहीं यार ये मन्नू नहीं बोल रहा यार. So I have that thing and people make fun of me when I say that. But मैं बोलता हूँ इसे मन्नू वाली feel नहीं आ रही मन्नू. And it leads to me not buying anything for most of the times. You know. So it's very hard for me to find clothes. I just pick basics then. You know, just black yeah, t-shirt भारी है यार. Yeah, yeah, safe exactly. I uh, I be- I don't know. Maybe because I see clothes so often. Hmm. Maybe because I go out with people shopping for clothes more. very often uh, maybe because i'm always looking at them for shoots or something i don't feel like buying them <laughs> it's it's tough again i go i mostly have basics i do have colors uh, i rarely own prints uh-huh. but um, it's it's solid solid category yeah. clothes and it's okay. not easy to find i take time yeah i take time to like it and i usually usually don't go buy and come back i usually go see come back think about it go back it's a process right so i want to you teach fashion styling yeah let's talk about your teaching like who are your students and are they like because i also remember a conversation where i asked that are you making people the fashion influencers of tomorrow and you were like no you tell people not to be not fashion to be influencers fashion. i really have this question because on instagram oh my god everyone's a fashion influencer to agar sare influencer hai to influence kon ho raha hai matlab kya ho raha hai yahan pe see the thing is that some of them are genuine maybe a few of them who are worth following who been uh, who really have it in born you know yeah. it's it's a talent who have case like major case in their following <laughs> yeah case in- Ticks. Yeah, ticks. Yeah, very so, fine. Yeah, so that's that. That's how it's grown. You know, social mm. media has grown that way, and you can't avoid it. Yeah, you can't avoid it. So with fashion influencers and bloggers, the thing was everybody was hashtagging O O T D and ready. Or oh, outfit of, of the, the day. day. Yeah. तो तो हम रोज करते सब करते बेकार <laughs> and then even when we were seeing you know we were uh, i did this exercise with one of my batch where we were seeing fashion bloggers and all and whatever they had liked yeah i said you kyun like kiya hmm. matlab tum karo like khule dil se karo but you kyun like kiya what is the logic denim hai sneakers hai t-shirt hai yeah ye like kyun kiya kya different hai isme fashion wise kya right. different hai no it's nice. yeah. the thing is the picture is nice the camera is nice um, the clarity is nice The colors are vibrant. The colors the are different. Uh, you know, you have people are making restaurants and cafes where they have walls they have dedicated walls for, for pictures. Bloggers, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, It increases their footfall. Yeah, that makes sense. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. that's that's business. Yeah. That's okay. But uh, if you are studying fashion styling and yeah. if you are studying fashion, are you not supposed to be somebody who's uh you know ha- ha- you one you have to have your own identity original yes yes there has to be something don't imitate right. that's the first thing but here everybody is just doing that yeah so when i'm teaching that's one of the things that i follow don't 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 imitate even when you're taking inspirations like we have we are brainstorming on inspirations and concept curation and right. thinking of different things my meaning is okay dekh lo sab dekho pinterest dekho sus, you know whatever social media just go through everything and it's necessary You yeah, knowledge. To. It's knowledge. It's knowledge. Yeah, yes. and then today with you know the world shrunk, and then you can you have access to everything. Fashion week is going on in Paris. You can see it live right now. So I know everything that's going on. It's not like before that a trend took two years to get to India. Hmm. It's not so today. You see it in the next few days. It's in Zara worldwide, and then once it's there, then people copy it and multiple copies and etc. That's how it goes. But you know when you're uh, looking at something. 
uh, maybe you're studying a Paris Fashion Week or you're studying a Milan Fashion Week, you're, you're getting, you're seeing everything and it's very, very necessary. Go see it, then stop. After stopping, don't see anything for one day, do your thing. Then come back. Now your brain has whatever it is supposed to have. Hmm. Now come back and do your own thing. So for shoots, for example, if I, they have to recreate an editorial shoot or they have to recreate a shoot, any, yeah. any kind of a shoot, what happens if you see something fresh and you type, try to do it, you're subconsciously going to end up doing the same thing. Hmm. Which should be a very, very big no. What is yeah. the individuality in that? Yeah, that How goes is with, it different? How that goes with every, every craft, right? Like whatever of you... Yeah. It does. So Otherwise, you're just, you know, plagiarizing. You're and just stealing in a see, way. See, I do understand that sometimes it happens that, you know, you like something so much subconsciously. Again, your brain has just taken it. Hmm. It's captured it. Hmm. So whether it's a piece of writing or whether it's a shoot or whether it's an outfit, your brain has just captured it. Now, when you want to reproduce it from your head, it's probably going to have things from there which hmm. is okay mm, or maybe not yeah I understand what you're saying yeah you know because and after a point say now if I come up with something I'm going to be think, thinking ye, ye mera hai. this is what I created but actually it's not it's something that you fed your brain months ago and now hmm. it's just coming out of it that's one thing that I kind of practice with students that don't copy like it's and and what's the age group? like what, what's the age group what kind of people show up um, as students who want to learn all what you Mainly, need? it's between 18 to 24. 18 to 24. 18 to 22-ish. And this is, do you see such people, you know, nowadays it's like, you just, it's not just styling, fashion styling. You pick any field, you pick designer, painter, writer, soccer player, blah, blah, blah. This, there's this mindset nowadays, very prevalent, that everyone wants to be the greatest. Have you, have you, like, everyone wants to be like, you know, I want to be the best in the world, GOT, GOAT, whatever, whatever. That's what they do now, the greatest of all times. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I no, no, so that, 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 yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought I didn't know internet. But, uh, yeah, so have you ever thought like that? Like, where do you see yourself? Because when I started writing, right? So I was there, I was there, you guys are earthlings, right? I was there. You still are there. <laughs> so, so I was like, I was like, J.K. Rowling who? <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I was like, but then you realize that it's very, you know, it puts you under immense pressure and you don't love your craft. You just are in this pressure that, okay, I have to be the best, I have to be blah, 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 and then you lose it. It just makes the process less enjoyable. No, I don't think I have so, that. No? So, where, where, so when you see fashion, I think because you are dealing with celebrities already, and I want to talk about that as well. But yeah, so where do you see yourself? I, I don't have, I, like I did probably say two years back, this was like all, this was all like, you have to reach here, right. you want to be in a magazine, you want to get there, you, yeah. you want to do all that. Today I think I'm, I'm just eased out, I mean, okay, I'm coffee drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, I don't want to run away. Right. I, I'm, I, obviously it's, uh, there is hustle, you want to do everything till you can, yeah. you want to achieve everything, I yet do, yeah. but I don't want to, I don't know, maybe it's a thought that I'm feeling today at this point, mm. but I don't want to do it at the cost of my peace of mind. I've had experiences in the recent past where I'm like panicking uh, because there is pressure. Mm. As much as uh, a lot of people see glamour, yeah, there is pressure. You know, there are deadlines. There are, mm. the, you know, even what to wear. It's not like it's just come out of the it come out of some designer and it's going. There's a thought process. Why somebody is wearing what? Yeah. So I. I'm not saying that I want to hustle and I, or I don't want to hustle and don't want to be the best, but I want to go there at Thika. Aaj gai aaj, kal gai kal, parso gai parso, huh. dasarvat gai dasarvat. I know I'm reaching there. I'm, right. I'm quite content of it now. I think I'm getting there. So how, how's, how's the day like in a stylist's life? Like a, a working day, not like uh, an off button. So um, I freelance right. and uh, say if it's a shoot thing, so we usually have... It involves right from going sourcing, either from brands, from designers, from, I don't know, from streets, anywhere, whatever you get. Yeah, you you've get. been spotted uh, yeah, you modeling the odd bar. You put the yeah. looks together and then do we model house, which I do shoot, sometimes take hours, sometimes hmm. they're fast, depending on how many looks, right. uh, location, doctor photographers, hair and makeup artists, put everything together. Huh. That way it's, it's quite, so that's one thing. Otherwise, I my day also involves... Teaching. teaching so I spend about two or three hours that so a day what do you do for yourself like what are the things that you work like side pe rakke? what are the things like Amrita does when, you know your, your fitness routine everyone's into fitness like I, what, how do you take care of your health 
because uh, since we've stalked your instagram so you are not the you know today like day hashtag uh, <laughs> arms day you're not that kind Thank right you. <laughs> you, you're not that there, so there are others right they are into that in their i thing. love working out right. uh, i love doing weights right. i so like i told you i was a fat kid right <clears throat> and then i joined this gym where i found instructors who were really very motivated okay. and there was a point <laughs> that uh, they took the, like the heads of whatever that uh, gym was that guy came to me he's like I want you to be like you know to go to gyms and tell women that picking up weights is not going to make you muscular like we want you to be like the yeah. demo yeah I said nahi bhai itna nahi hoga matlab theek hai utha rahi hu weight with theek hai but I don't want to yeah. go like this is not something yeah, I want to make a career yeah, out yeah, of yeah. so I loved picking up weights till I had like a very minor accident like really minor like thing injured yourself while working out no okay it was another I just fell off a bike It, I oh, didn't yeah. that's new bang into something hmm. I just fell off <laughs> oh, that, well, but you could, can't work out whatever you can't right, right, you can't weights and then suddenly when i'm lifting a lot of weight and suddenly going to the gym and picking up like 1 pound whatever oh. I, i used to feel embarrassed for some reason used to be like i used to do like weights yeah, right, i used right. to love doing weights i'm like you feel 2 pound utha ke kaise karu so i used to regular like you keep you know yeah. with oh, yeah I go every evening at around eight eight thirty. I do spend. That's the workout thing. I right. just recently I signed up for a marathon. Okay. In March, so nice. I'm kind of trying to run at constant. But you, when you say marathon, are you like running forty two kilometers? Like four? No, ten. Ten. So that is my first marathon. So, oh, so that, that people ambitious. usually say marathon because then people who are actually running they get offended because ten k. Yeah. yeah. So people 10. they say ten k. Yeah. I'm just so. running ten. <laughs> is that? fits into a marathon like yeah the marathon. event is called marathon but it was exciting i'm not a person who wakes up in the morning i yeah. love the nights i love being up at night i know probably whatever writing bit if i think i want to do oh, what do you write i because yeah <laughs> so i it, it's i'm guessing poetry yeah but not poetry that rhymes always but yeah poetry that, that poetry is better poetry that than you know yes, that yes i write, I, write on situations i kind of uh, write conversations to uh-huh. people in my head Kind of like conversations. Oh, nice, uh, nice. Are you planning to come out with it? Ever? I don't know. Maybe it will need Please a lot do. of refining because it's it very. But the it's like normal people talking. I don't know how much people want to read about it, and I think like. Uh, I don't think a writer should think whether people want to read about it or not. They should write it. Yeah, that's the advice. Who's <laughs> worth taking? But I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. I want to talk about Nakre Vakre now. That's your brand, you and your sister, right? Akshita, Akshita Seluja. That's what I know. Yeah, I wish she, she was there as well. We didn't know about her earlier. So yeah, let's talk about it. When did it start? How did you start? So. And what do you do? So if you also call yourself wardrobe now. Uh, what's it? I should call you wardrobe doctors in a way. Like I mean, yeah, you you like like checking for wardrobe, diseases. We 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 do wardrobe analysis or. You know, sh- shopping and what they all—it gets one thing on the other. So the, is that what Nakre Vakre does? Yeah. So how it started was that I was always I was doing fashion for really long. First, how did you come up with the name? It was very random. It sounds like very random. So we were having prints. <laughs> yeah. And we were having, literally having butter chicken and roti. Okay. And we were talking. <laughs> and Nakre Vakre. Nakre Vakre. <laughs> butter chicken Nakre Vakre. That's it awesome. Really yeah. Like that's that. how it happens. Like as simple as that, and it clicked. Yeah. So Karen and I, how did we come up with the name of this thing? Oh. So we were talking, and I was like, Karen, I really want to do this thing. I feel, you know, very strongly about it. But it's not an interview. It's not an interview. It isn't an interview. It isn't an interview. She was like, interview. And we had that khichdi praful hansa <laughs> moment. You're like, interview. <laughs> so, yeah, it was really. So I think, yeah, randomness is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it, it was. It was really random, and then it connected to the Punjabi part of it. Right, right. So yeah, nakre nakre. So how did it begin? Like, what's the idea behind so what we did was we uh, figured how that like we've got a name basically yeah. we knew what we wanted to do in it she uh, she is a hair, she is a hairstylist right. so that was fresh for her then right so uh, she was always into hair and makeup huh. she's experimented with quite a few things she's okay. worked in retail she has worked with fashion hmm. uh, so she has the know abouts of this as hmm. well but she pursued her hair dressing as a Full-fledged course and okay. successfully finished it, and then she realized that that was 
that you know yeah yeah my feel yeah ho yeah, right. that kind yeah. of a situation so she knew she was a pro in it and she hmm. wanted to excel in it and i knew i was very comfortable with fashion so we kind of merged it and then we introduced this thing called makeovers but we used to start we started giving packages annual packages uh-huh. so we introduced it to people like you know how uh, maybe your car or your vehicles need like servicing every 3 months uh-huh. we want to keep reminding you on what you need uh, what your wardrobe has what it should not have how you oh, can so it's not a one time thing so they could, you know it can be a one time thing so the usual process is we start with the consultation at the consultation we understand how much of a makeover do you need okay you just need like a consultation which should sort it out so, so you, you go to their houses and you check their wardrobes okay yes, that's if they want to, if they want, if they yeah, want yeah. to sign up for the wardrobe analysis but otherwise it starts with just a consultation where we talk to them uh, where i talk to them about uh, who they are what they do what is their social life like how many vacations do they take huh. what kind of music they like what kind of food they like just a lot of intricacies right. just to understand what kind of a person they are basically hmm. first then uh, if they think they need a wardrobe analysis yes i do go to their house i just do look up the wardrobe we do see things that they have we do see things that uh, they need something that they should throw away something that is just occupying a lot of space hmm. needs to be discarded uh, things that can be just innovated in a way that uh, you know you won't quite a few times right we have a lot of pressure in terms of not repeating clothes today oh yeah people you don't see it on facebook and people are seeing it on instagram so i can't wear it again <laughs> no pressure so yeah once you have that and then you uh, we do all that and then based on that now the next step gets to shopping now do i need anything new in the yeah. existing wardrobe uh, so you something? decide you you tell them that we are going to buy stuff for you yeah we think that this suits you better with we think that which makes sense because they asked for your help right yes, so they so don't this know is what so you th- this is what i think you should have and is their opinion taken into consideration before buying the stuff yeah they Or you're just like ye bekoof hai ye ullu ka batta isko kuch nahi pata i buy stuff for you so we take them and it, it's it's usually mutual at the end of it they right, the right. fact that they've come up to has the, it ever happened that you've picked one thing and the person has said i i don't i don't feel like yeah, it yeah oh, so and then you try to convince the person mm-hmm. or no so, like yes a little but okay. not really because in the end they are supposed to live right, it right. so there's no point if force them into buying a piece which they are never going to be uh, mm-hmm. wearing again or whatever so that way it's a little uh, if we take it so it's, it's mutual right. we don't pressurize them into buying something uh-huh. but uh, it starts with that that and the fact that they come to us means they're willing to Yeah. go for that change right. so i think they usually open to experiment yeah. with uh, a little with it so shopping wise we do take them shopping and they buy what they're supposed to or what we think they need or like staples that you should have you you have to have a white shirt maybe worst client experience uh-huh. <laughs> what kind of dickheads do you meet <laughs> worst client experience uh If you have to think that hard, I mean, you're going, yeah, you're doing a good I, job. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm something really, really bad. But there has been a time where in my head I'm like, "Lay, but it means to lay or jump, but it means I'm not doing it." Yeah, that's the smart way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's not doing it. I'm telling you, but you get to know. But see, the idea is that I don't. I I want them to not do impulsive shopping. Right. But if you're coming with me and yet doing impulsive shopping, then. But yeah, what's like the point of hiring the services? Yeah. So that way, yes, I've had a little uh, thing, but I don't think I've had a worst client, at least with uh, not really. I don't think I've had a very bad experience with shopping and all. And my sister takes care of the hair part here, right? So she'll go, she'll do a skin and hair thing, hair consultation. So every if if they get into the package, the annual package, right. then my sister has to go and do the. uh like a haircut or a trim right. that she offers so if someone Karen or I or any individual he or she has to you know <clears throat> avail the services nakhre wakre so how how so are, they, are if if a person needs help with his or her wardrobe is he approaching nakhre wakre or is he approaching amrita saluja or no they usually approach nakhre wakre i like it that uh, yeah. way so nakhre wakre what we doing is we started as doing personal shopping uh-huh. but then um, we started with editorial we started doing shoots right. we did So we styled quite a few celebrities off late. Okay. So it's all under that one thing. Right. I had before that. I used to have a brand called Atirma. Okay. I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, if you spell Amrita the other way around, it's Atirma. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> I had that uh, brand again. That was a very random thing. I used to work in this retail store for six months. I thought I was just thinking, oh, I should call myself something. Right. 
So when I was writing and I kept writing and I had this thing whenever I'm sitting and I have a piece of pen and paper, you always scribble yeah. or something. I write my name quite a few times yeah. for some reason in different, <laughs> in different styles. So uh, yeah, so Atidma happened okay. and I got like tags and everything like me, right. like fancy and <laughs> designing. So I, I did like I told you, I designed for hmm. quite, I yet do, I yet do design for people and whatever, say clothes I can design for myself, I do that too. But that stopped when I realized that I'm, I'm just going with everything that is trending you know I have people call me what's going on what's going trend ho <laughs> I answered that for very long till I realized that this is important hai. Yeah, kya you, trend you, hai, you are losing yourself in the process right when you're doing that and see when I'm talking about design you're talking about uh, designs that uh, you know people are doing for weddings hmm. not a lot of people here get into custom design for everyday wear that they prefer retail yeah, yeah. or you know they prefer picking it up this is wedding, weddings or Indian outfits for that matter. Kaha, kya pandyo, kyu pandyo, kya trend or hai. And my whole point was, you don't suit nahi hone wala hai, chhod do. Trend ki baat mat karo, aapka jo size hai, wo bohat different hai. You should just stick to wearing hmm. classics. And yeah, classics is my uh, thing. You don't wear something which is going to run out of fashion as fast. Yeah. And now celebrities. Yeah. So we've seen Vicky Kaushal. We've seen uh, you work with Imran Hashmi and Sunny. Yes. I want to talk about all three. Like, so, so you met them personally. So let's start with Sunny. I think she's one of the prettiest ladies in the industry. She is, cute. right? She is. I think she's very cute. She's very pretty. She's very cute. Like almost she's, a fanboy. <laughs> she's yeah. <laughs> she's she's really sweet. Uh, she we didn't like. I didn't have like a very extensive conversation or something okay. with either. But uh, yeah, they were very sweet people to work with. Okay. They're human beings. They're That's the point, right? That's what. Plus, I, happy human beings with ups and downs, like everybody else. They yeah. had their good days and bad days, and they're at least for. So I even before I started styling for celebrities, you know, you you hear that you know it's they'll have their tantrums and they'll have like you know. Some of them do. I've heard. Yeah. Of course they do. Yeah. But uh, I, I think I, sometimes. At that point or that that level, maybe that tantrum is necessary. Maybe. maybe, maybe that's how they get their work done. Maybe, maybe yeah. But so they come with an entourage of right. whatever people. Right. Yeah. So if, with Sunny, I think um, we started later than the scheduled time. Okay. There was a little goof up or something, but uh, it went really smooth. Yeah, yeah, and I, I, she has this. I really want her to bag a big role. Like, let's not not say lead, but at least a supporting. I really want to see her in a good movie. She hasn't done uh, like she always comes in those horror kind of flicks, right? Somehow, I really want. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I, it's just me, but I really want to see her somewhere, somewhere. Because I think she's working really hard. She has already she, owned the reality TV right. zone, right? right? I think she's doing the best over there. So yeah, I really want her to come. She, she's. She, for whatever conversation or time I had with her, yeah. she's really sweet. Uh, you know, I, I always think that somehow for all the celebrities, the PRs are a little more uh, fierce and a little more demanding than yeah. the celebrity themselves. Yeah. I think they're more chilled out. And about Imran Hashmi. So, for that guy, I think, I personally think he's a brilliant actor. Why? Because if you put, okay, he won't be able to do the... Shah Rukh Khan kind of drama or romance kind of thing but whatever he does right if he has to play a con man or bookie or whatever that's his forte right so if he plays that I think he's very convincing mm -hmm. but I feel sad that whenever he goes out promoting his stuff right he's always tired serial kisser serial kisser whenever you so we did that so when I styled him yeah. it was for a magazine right and they take an interview at the end of right. it so those minutes they are like oh, what do you think of the term of you know serial kisser and he said yeah this question must be asked it's 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 bad because he's a good actor यहाँ तो होता ना कोई ऐसी होता फालतू में अच्छे जो ऊंचे लेवल पे हैं they are right shit many actors है they don't act they just pretty faces right but that guy is really convincing man I and of course, the last guy, it, my my friends, right? I'm talking about the ladies. If they get to know that I've in, interviewed someone who has met Vicky yeah. Kaushal, yeah, they will lose it. They will. <laughs> they are in love with, and and I I, I don't blame them. I, have you seen Uri? Yes. Yeah, wh what a guy! Man. What a guy! So, but that was way before Uri. So right? yeah, so this was just when Razi released. Ra uh, the spy one, Alia Bhatt, right? Hmm. Yeah. So you saw Razi. This then? was then. Last night. Yeah. This was just then. And uh, uh, I'm I'm actually not a TV movie person. Okay. I extensively I don't right, follow it. Right. 
but I have like my brother is a, a fan, like my first cousin. He's a f- fan. He's like a movie fan. Like, right. To a great extent, to another level. Uh-huh. So obviously, it's in the family. Everybody is. Everybody loves movies and all. So yeah. when when I got a call saying that if you're studying for Wiki Kaushal, would you be interested? I honestly had then also I had to kind of check on. I knew he was there in. Yeah, Kisan. he wasn't that big at that time. I knew yeah. he was doing. Uh, he done drama and drama. Yeah, yeah. One of. Oh, he was the cop. He played the cop, right? Yeah. So I knew, but I uh, mm-hmm. and I'm I the, just before that, they, my sister and my brother they saw Razi and they came home and they were all mad about. Girls him. are drooling over that guy. This they is then, ah, when Razi. Shadi wadi kar liye unhone uske saath. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So they that happened and uh, I they, they were talking really good things about him and then I saw him and I was like, okay, let's let's do it. The only thing I was very happy about I I wasn't very uh, I, I didn't get all nervous about celebrity hai kya hoga. Right. I think I was okay that time. Okay, jao and again he was I think one of the first few I worked with and he was really sweet, very sweet. Whatever I had in options. Uh, to get for the clothes and all he tried them and he had his opinion ke ye nahi karte i think i'm more comfortable okay. with this and all of that very fluent conversation kuch kuch hmm. manga nahi tha no tantrum at all even with the hair whatever styles okay. he was he was pretty much dancing throughout the shoot uh-huh. and i'll tell you we we did have that moment where you know he's just about to start shooting tab tak to you know you're talking to him conversation ho rahi hai kapde pehna rahe ho check kar rahe ho it's a tiny little studio that's how usually shoots yeah. are so he he gets on camera And my sister is here, I'm here, and we're like ready. So I have whatever last minute things I need in my hand, and she's there, and we start, we roll. And the first click, he smiles, and both of us are like, "Oh shit, what happened?" You know, we. I remember that very clearly because I look at her, she looks at me, and we we're both blushing in our heads. Literally, <laughs> that happened. I, that was real. So as much as so he was like he had a serious face. This is whatever your friends and my friends and yeah, all yeah. the friends talk about, and all you. the girls and me. <laughs> It's true. So I actually saw him first in the Netflix movie Love for Square Foot, uh-huh. and I was like, "Who is this guy? I've never seen him before." And I thought he was like one of those Netflix actors. Last night I found out he was with Razi when I was watching the movie, uh-huh. and then but he looks very different in movie now. He like I saw I saw a little bit of Masan the other day, and I was like, "Who is this?" But he's like you know very. Warm Punjabi guy, yeah, and very. And the best part. वो लगता है वो खुले दिल का बंदा है. Be, 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 best part about Vicky Kaushal is that he's not, you know, okay, he is handsome, but he's not. I I don't have the word like he's not the. He's the boy next door. Approachable yeah, approachable. Yeah. approachable. And मतलब मैं सोच सकती हूँ ये मेरा हो सकता है कहीं. Yeah. That is the reason like, why all the girls. Yeah. Like, I think his simplicity <laughs> and you know. Uh, Oh, this aura that he's approachable and all that makes girls go mad about yeah. and uh, forget and he's he is that like even like my only thing is whenever you know after the shoot we like let's take a picture kind of a thing yeah so when it came to him I just was like please ask please ask <laughs> and I'm like take care so I said can we take a picture he's like yeah sure and then again you know he's got that he's such a warm smile it's just like heart melting yeah and as then, much as I'm not like a fan of film right. stars and all. He was a very sweet person. That's a girl's perspective, right? Now, coming from someone who loves the army movies, war movies, and all, that you guy is yeah, yeah, I do, I do a lot, a lot. I'm like mad over war movies and all. This guy was so powerful in the movie. He, there's this scene, right, when they are at the funeral, the officer's yeah. funeral, his brother-in-law's yeah. funeral, or so. Who, ah, who war cry complete? कर रहे होते हैं. The thing that little girl yes, says, right? Yeah. So he suddenly goes quiet, right? Yeah, and yeah. that scene, goosebumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that scene was. He's very powerful. I mean, I don't know. But I did think, uh, for some reason, I'm I'm not a, a war movie fan. Uh-huh. I'm actually not a very big movie fan. Yeah, yeah you told me. But uh, uh, you know, there was the point every time when he said, "How how's the Josh?" Yeah, or something. That, that's I right. think that could have been more powerful. I think people made it. I saw it recently. I saw right. it much later than it released. Uh, So that point where you're talking about that scene, yes, that was what the movie was. Yeah. But I thought every time he was then talking to you know his all men. the soldiers of yeah. getting his getting his men ready for yeah, the fight, yeah. I thought that those scenes also could have been made in a way that you do get goosebumps. I don't know if it. I did really everything, but that was like you know the what do you call it, pinnacle? Like it was. You know now when Sunny Deol screams, screams in border. Listen, I I love border. I'm big I, fan. I'm I, yeah. Not, uh, At that time, I'm I was like, "Chidiya, naaje baat lada." I'm not lying. <laughs> 
Oh. No, so yeah, so you know that that kind of power in the face. Maybe I can say again, I love that guy. Yeah. Abhi ki kosha, but yeah, and he's involved as an actor. Um, Sanju was. Yeah. So absolutely. like it was. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, he's, he's just good you friend yeah person ah amrita it was it was fun talking to you <laughs> i i think i covered everything that i wanted to talk to you it was it was great having you thank you thank you so much